Hey uh, fellas, it's Raptor Jesus here with a crafting video for you. I'm actually building some dungeon tiles. Uh, I made these out of some Hearst art molds. Uh, it's, out of, it's made out of stuff called Durham's Water Putty, which is pretty cool. It kind of makes this like rock-like substance, more in a plaster substance. Using some, uh, you know, measuring my, my walls, I made out of foam board. I used a a roller to give it some texture you can see like there's cracks I drew on there because it was actually cracked and broken so I'm trying to hide my mistakes like all good crafters I use this uh, Elmer's uh, glue I like the the white glue it's like this uh, kind of tacky glue it's not the same glue that's in this container. I just, I reuse these things because they're just handy. So uh, my hang always gets in the way in this. I'm not very good at shooting these crafting type videos. I need some sort of overhead camera, I guess. It's all a learning process, ain't it, fellas? So uh, these tiles are, these dungeon tiles are meant to be two inch by two inch rooms kind of represent like the standard dungeon room size so you use an old old school D&D &D. Uh, these rooms would take like a turn or 10 minutes to to kind of case the joint like all good adventurers do you got to see what valuables are in there what's what right yeah I like these Hearst art molds uh, I got these like kind of cavern floor ones that uh, one mold set actually almost gives you enough to make a, a two by two room. I'm trying to make these uh, dungeon tile sets so I like had to pre-measure the, the walls and, and cut them out. And the idea is that uh, each of these rooms is going to have uh, they're gonna be fairly bare, but I'm gonna use these inserts uh, that are glued onto these clear plastic sheets, so I can put all kinds of furniture or debris or what have you, and not have to muck up the rooms themselves. And I can just put that like insert down, and since it's clear, it'll all the nice texture and stuff I put on these floors will like shine through. So I really had to like, my first room I made was sort of very janky, so I had to like fix it after the fact, after I glued everything down. So I sort of like measured out these like uh, chipboard uh, bases that I, I'm gluing everything down on. And I had to pre-measure it with the dun taking into account the dungeon tiles and the walls themselves. It's a lot of measuring, which is not really something I'm very good at. I'm, I'm more of a um, measure by eye and pre-measuring. You know, I actually messed up a lot of the measurements too, so it wasn't, I kind of, uh, each wall is, of course, supposed to be about like two by two. And I don't really want to glue the walls on top of the tiles because I'm not just, you're not actually getting a two inch by two inch room. You know, you're, you're sacrificing some of the width to the wall itself. So that's why there's these like bare lines around the tile itself because that's actually where you're going to glue the wall down. It's all a process, you'll see. I like working with this glue to uh, grab the super glues in one. You see how hairy my hands are? You don't want no super glue on that. So it's on. I am a messy crafter. I'm like a four year old with a spoonful of peanut butter in his mouth, trying, not, trying to get everything all over his mom's kitchen table. That's why I like working with the glue because you have more uh, more time to like move things around if you need to adjust. 
adjust everything. Over measure or under measure something. It's better to over measure than under measure, let me tell you. I got some kind of janky balls that didn't quite measure up, so I had to cut a little pieces here and there. I always save all those pieces because you never know when you're going to do it. I have a this white stuff I'm like gluing everything on top of it's just some parchment paper. I like using parchment paper. Uh, most glues don't really stick to it too much. Yeah, I'm a messy kind of guy. Glue all over the place. Now, even my base is like over measured just a little bit. I'm always gonna mess something up. It's only you. out of some foam board I got and I have this really cool roller it's actually a cobblestone roller but I thought it kind of fit for, for brick and I'm kind of lazy I don't want to have to hand draw all this stuff but you can it's kind of relaxing to sit there and draw with all the bricks but um, it doesn't feel like it I'm trying to see how many of if I can make these things as quickly as possible and you can't actually see this off screen but this wall I'm about to glue down is so freaking long uh, I had to cut it like three or four times to get it measured up right see I'm trying to measure it here but nope I am not able to fit it but, you know, that's why this, uh, this white glue is really nice to work with Time to cover up my mistakes. Yeah, I actually the that door you see it. I just drew it on the the tile. You know, front floor has a has paper on it. And so I take the paper off the floor to like use that roller on. So it doesn't quite like transition very well. But the door itself still has the paper on it. That's my little trick. I keep the paper section on that so I can hand draw the, the various like, woods and stuff. Throw the glue up here in the corner and kind of like fill up those gaps. But what I'll end up doing probably is the glue will probably just like pour out the bottom, so it's not going to very seal. Most of it will stick, which that's what I'm hoping for. Any of the gaps, I'll actually use this uh, this water putty when I make some more tiles, and I'll like put it in there with a paintbrush because you got a little bit of time to work with it, and then that makes like a really really stable like base, which is that's really what you want, like the base to be strong. I've actually dropped these other ones a bunch of times luckily the I put more I painted more glue onto these tiles after it was all dry out to give some more stability and then my secret weapon uh, here for keeping this all together you'll see is is my my favorite can food salmon is always good for holding up here I hope you guys have some good gaming and you keep your shield arm strong, alright?